five awesome iPad Pro apps that don't require an Apple Pencil. One of my favorite iPad Pro apps is called Ulysses. This is a writing app that originated on the Mac and it's since been brought to the iPad Pro. Of course, it is a universal app now, so it works on the iPhone as well. And to me, this is my favorite iPad Pro writing app. It's my favorite iOS writing app, period, hands down. Um, it's great because it works with iCloud. So all your stuff syncs across the Mac, across your iPhone, across your iPad, and it features a very flexible layout that works well with the iPad Pro's extra large screen. You can of course use Markdown, you can export in HTML and PDF format and so many other formats there. Uh, you can change up fonts. It's just extremely customizable, highly customizable. And as I stated, it works really well on the iPad Pro's extra large screen. You have the real estate, the dynamically changing layout of the app itself. So you can have this little half screen here if you want to, or you can have a third of a screen just like this. So let's just tap Ulysses. And you can write on that little third of a screen if you want to, to take notes or whatever the case may be. You can swipe back to access all of your other in progress documents. Now let's talk about Tweetbot 4, which is my favorite Twitter client for the iPad Pro. I'm kind of, I don't know, I've, I've had a love-hate relationship with Tweetbot over the years, but there's no doubt that this is the best implementation of Twitter on the iPad Pro. The layout is super flexible. You can quickly, obviously, use split view and uh, slide over, and you're gonna see that the layout adjust depending on how much real estate is available. Uh, it even works in that nice one third view, which I really like because I like to use Tweetbot's streaming feature with the third view like this. So I can just kind of keep it over there tucked on the side of the screen, use streaming and keep up to date with my Twitter timeline. And of course the layout is flexible. So you're going to be able to view your activity or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to view there, you can do so easily on that little small area of the iPad Pro's display. And just recently Tweetbot 4 was updated to include this little button here to allow you to quickly disable or enable the extra pane there which is really nice because when you tap the button, you can tap the header and then access your list, your activity, your stats, etc. Now with iOS, you know that there is no shortage of so-called getting things done apps for the platform. There are just tons of them. Uh, but To Do, to me, is my favorite for the iPad Pro because like many of the other apps on this video, it features a super flexible layout that adjusts dynamically according to how you arrange it on your iPad Pro's extra large screen. So you see I have the three panes here and I slide over, you have your categories and the ability to create a new task, view your current task, view your calendar when you slide over. And I can slide all the way over like this and I'm going to open it up in the little third view like this. And then you see my new task and my list of tasks, but I can slide over either way and view my categories and my calendar easily just like that. So extremely flexible application, not just for a GTD, but for a variety of other things as well. Now, of course, GarageBand had to make the list because it is just an amazing, an amazing music making experience on the iPad Pro. Now, granted, GarageBand is available on a variety of iOS devices, including smaller devices like the iPhone and iPad mini, but this big screen really makes it shine. Trust me, when you're creating music and you have access to so many tracks, it's really special. So let's have a brief listen, shall we? Now the last app on my list, Ferrite Recording Studio, is what I use for voiceovers on my iPad for creating full entire podcasts end to end. It is an amazing application. This is a test. This is a test. Testing. One, two, three. What I've done here is I've hooked up my Shure MV5 microphone, the lightning enabled microphone, and I recorded a track right there on the fly into Ferrite Recording Studio. You can go in here, you can split the tracks, you can rearrange the tracks, you can edit, you can even add effects. There's things like ducking and automation, which are both handy for podcasting. Uh, there are all sorts of effects, compressors, high pass filters, low pass filters, warm amplifiers, 
anything you could pretty much think of for editing a podcast is included in this package. It's pretty amazing. You can even add additional tracks uh, to your projects like this. Testing. Right there on the fly. You can just tap it to insert and drag it around as you wish. It is amazing, an app I use on a regular basis. So those are five of my favorite apps for the iPad Pro. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.